Hey everyone, this is Dr. Retro and today I want to show you the holy grail for moss collectors when it comes to retail toys. So not prototype toys like Thunderball etc, but just toys that were actually in the store and this is Laser Command. It's the last item that got released in the Mosk series and at the time it got released the Mosk series weren't on TV anymore. So this item didn't get a preview on the show, it wasn't in any of the cartoons and uh, people were already past mosques. Other things were cool then, so this didn't get sold really well, that's why it's that rare. So, what it shows you on the box is Red Fang, that's the car, and Hornet, that's the box. And uh, Hornet has a infrared sender, and this one has an infrared receiver, and when you shoot with Hornet, Red Fang, Red Fang explodes, explodes, and uh, I'll show you later what parts can explode. On the top of the box you see Miles Mayhem and Matt Tracker with their mosques and uh, the vehicles. So the side of the box shows you what Hornet can do. Hornet is just an ordinary crate but it flips open to become an airplane kind of thingy and it shoots the infrared beam that I told you about. And then on the other side you have the Red Fang which is a normal truck and has explodable parts. So I already took it out of the box because removing this with one hand on camera is kinda hard. As you can see this one is so brand spanking new that the stickers didn't get applied and that's quite rare and I'm really happy with that. These are the stickers for Red Fang you can see the Venom logo and these are the stickers for Hornet and you can see the Mosk logo. This one comes with two manual slash posters also has one little extra by the way that I forgot to show you Let's see if we can read this. Parental guidance, do not explode vehicle at point blank range. So, kind of can explode in your face if you're not careful. This is the manual. There it shows you what it can do. How to put everything in place, little details, etc. And how to put the batteries in, etc. I can't show you how it functions because I don't have the batteries. These are those old school flat 9 volt batteries and I don't have any of those laying around. So I can't show you how it works but I can show you the different parts. As you can see this was a double sided manual so that it leaves a poster with the mask items released in this series. And if you look closely you'll see that Red Fang and Hornet are not on here. This is it from a separate series that is just single in its series and uh, no other vehicles got released so they just added a poster of the previous series that were still in stores. So let's get to the toy itself. First up Hornet. That baby is over here. Let's close it down to show you the crate version. So this is it as a crate. As I said stickers are not applied so it's basically kinda looks kinda boring with stickers it looks a lot more impressive so you flip it open as a gun here you put the figure another gun and there's the infrared beam batteries go in here so this one shoots the infrared beam then we go off to Rat Fang the car and you see here it's quite stripped down. These are all the separate parts are removed. So you can actually see what can explode or blow off. This is the infrared receiver on the top here. You can see the side door can flip off alongside with this. Then you have the front of the car that flips off and the tires. And here on the side you have these things that blow open as well. In the back you have the part where the batteries go and like I said these are those flat batteries that I don't have lying around anymore. The toy is tested working though but those weren't my batteries. So that's Rat Fang. Here you see the two tires that can fly off. This is the hood or the top of the car that flies off when you trigger it still in its baggie. And here you have Matt Tracker and Miles Mayhem with their masks. The left one is Miles, 
and the right one is matte. Still sealed in the bag. So really cool to have this in such brand new condition. I actually just noticed that the door is missing, so that's probably in another box because I have two of these sets. Or it's in here. No, it's not in here. So I have the door in another set, but just believe me, there's a door as well. So that was Laser Command for the Mask series. Really rare toy, also really cool toy. It doesn't really transform, so in my opinion, it's not really, yeah, doesn't really fit the series, but it got released, so as a collector, I need to have it. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and like me on Facebook to stay up to date on everything. Facebook.com slash DRRetroMD. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.